probably one of the most fun little jobs you can do. Fitting your number plates. It's a fairly cool and windy morning, but uh, I think it's the perfect weather to set off in the 404. Today I'm going to go to um, Weymouth Oily Rag Show. It's about an hour from here, but before I go there, I'm going to go down to Bournemouth and pick up Nick. A small but very nice detail is that the coupe light is now working. And a bigger and more important detail is the horn is working. Take a check in maybe. There we go. This will be a good test run for the brakes as well. No kids or family in there, just me and good old Nick. So it's not that I don't value Nick's safety or anything, but you know, it's he's more up for driving in an old car uh, where you've just done the brakes. Uh, whereas the uh, missus and uh, family, probably best after you've tested it a few times, just make sure everything's right. And yeah, you know, get some scary stop or something there, they're not so. Nick doesn't panic as much, um, but yeah, so that's, uh, I think that's good. Just do the brakes and then go for all, uh, go for a couple of hours drive, that sounds about right. I know you've arrived to uh, Nick's place. Huge black Range Rover and a rusty Mercedes. Ready to go for an oily rag show? Well, let's go to the oily rags. <laughs> <laughs> it's quite big. Yeah. Well, there's a few cars usually show up. It's quite popular. Mm. Have you been before? Huh? You've been before? Yeah, yeah. Ah. So what's uh, what kind of projects are you with? What what have you been flipping lately? Mm. <laughs> Oranges. Hmm. <laughs> I love these Citroen recently. Oh yeah? Citroen ZM. Well, I'm into the French cars today. Well, we are a French car today. Um yeah, big fan. Didn't realise how much I like those cars actually. No. Very slick design. Yeah, very slick looking thing. As it's drive, you feel like... Uh, unbelievable. It's like driving a 5 Series or something relaxing like that. It's just, you're in an armchair, it's smooth as hell, it's got the hydraulic suspension. I mean, it just is a fantastic thing. They really are nice cars, yeah. No, I'm not always a big fan of the French stuff, but there's certain things that sort of do float my boat, you know. I think everything French is amazing. Well, I mean... Anything old that's French is amazing. Pretty much. Yeah. Anything past like 95? Not so much. Maybe 93. Well, actually, so I like some of the uh, Citroen stuff. Like the C, what's the C6 over the weird. Oh, uh, yeah. That's a pretty cool, cool one. Pretty cool. Yeah, that's a nice one. The new, Al cash, the the new Alpine is pretty cool. Oh, the new Alpine is cool, yeah. And I like the, I like the GT86. This is a new car. You know, the GT86 and Toyota, new version of the AE86. Okay, yeah. That's kind of a cool car. What else, what else have you been flipping? Um, yeah, a couple of vehicles, just sort of... Um, so you got the XM? Got the XM. Uh, I've had a... I've oh, got the Range Rovers yeah. um, at the moment, and we sort of work on those. Going to be doing a... I'm going to do a build series on the, the, the Monte Verde. I plan to do okay. sort of part one, part two, part... A hundred by the time it's finished, it's so bloody rusty. So we're gonna do that on my channel for sure. Yeah. That's gonna be happening. And uh, yeah, so a few coming in, coming out. Got to look at the Mercedes You got a video week. on the Monteverde, don't you? Oh, there's a video on the Monteverde. Yeah, that's out I'll now. Put, I'll put a link to that. Yeah, please. That's a, that's a cool cool car, actually, pretty rare. And it's got some interesting history and there's some surprises in store. Cool. <laughs> So, this is the Oli Rag Show, I'm kind of 
stuck in between a few modern cars, fair enough. There's a lot of nice things here today. And uh, what I like about this show is that you get anything and everything. So uh, you get hot rods, you get modern rods, you get lots of different stuff, that's cool. Nick's vanished, but I'll see if I find him and we'll do some commentary on some of the cars here. There's Andrew's Appia, looking good as always. Nicknamed Safano. And um, I don't think I've made an announcement, but Andrew's actually bought my Aurelia as well. So we'll have a matching pair, large and small. So uh, the Aurelia is now, he's sent it off to be painted, so I'm very excited to see how that turns out. Yeah, well, of course, it gets stuck with the Range Rover guy, don't yeah. you? This like, is a nice color on this, isn't it? Yeah, it's Pow. very nice. Very well stored, actually. Yeah, that's that's a tidy car. Yeah. Actually, I do have a Jeep. I love of course, you like a Jeep. Isn't that Tonka exactly what this thing is? The Tonka toy. The big arches on it. And Sahara. Has it got the black or is it going to be the. Oh, no, it's proper Sahara. It's got the green and tan. Yeah. Auto? Yeah, love an auto. Massively It's just a toy, isn't it? Just what a toy that is. Yeah. It's just... But it kind of has to be a second car though, doesn't it? Yeah. But, I mean, it's like, imagine that. You're at the beach, drive down, surfboards somewhere. You know what country we're in? Yeah. Not in England. <laughs> <laughs> I like the Ford, that's, that's, he's got, I bet. He's come from Bournemouth, I'm pretty sure he's known to someone I know. Oh yeah? He was in my friend's unit for a while, yeah. Nice with the uh, red sides, that's yeah, weird. Yeah, I love a bit of red. Yeah. I bet he gets some wind noise as well. <laughs> I love how he's clamped the surfboard down with the metal roof rack, I love that. Yeah. Not about dings or anything. Yeah. Oh, that's good, they've turned the, bloody thing around because that used to be Park Bear, this organ, and wow. it would just pound out this organ music and it would just be too much. Look at that interior, it's pretty cool. Yeah, so the chap I'm working with at the moment, he had one of these when they were out new. And he said at the time, this car was the same price as a, a Porsche 944. Really? <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah. So he, he sold it to buy a Porsche 944. So it's basically a Ford Capri with like Dilson Martin treatment or? Yeah, well Tickford was just like an aftermarket, I think, um, you know, like an AMG kind of thing. I believe, but they did everything, they did all sorts of cars. Yeah. There you go. Well, I just met a subscriber over there. <laughs> you did you, yeah? Cool. Yeah, James, he said, um, I said, uh, he goes, oh, you're famous, you're famous, Nick. Only for Ranger of people. Yeah. He's like, um, he goes, I recognize you. I went, YouTube, he went, yeah. It's pretty cool, it's probably CC Top Wagon. Oh, yeah. I'm naturally uh, attracted to white crowns though, that's... Oh, crown, yes. Super smooth. Look at that one as well, that is tidy. Look at the tidy one, look at the velour in that. Oh, you can drive that to the end of the earth. Yeah. Which one would you have? Tempted to remember the one. Nah. I, I like the grill more I, on I this side. Like the no. And the quad lights. Yeah. So that's interesting. So that's a 79. And the quad lights. I was trying to relate it to the Land Cruiser, but the quad lights were in the 92. Really? Yeah. Which is interesting how. It's interesting how the quad lights are in the 1979 on this one, and obviously the early ones had like this. Then they went to the quad lights, 
then I don't know what happened. Huh. Yeah, but then in the 80s, the Land Cruisers had round headlights. There you go. And the facelift was quad in 92. This is pretty cool. This is like <laughs> out of a movie, isn't it? Something out of the Sopranos with some dead bodies in the back. Yeah. That's so, that's so cool. It's so cool, like a giant organ comes. <laughs> yeah, but it also gets on your nerves like after a couple of hours. I can imagine it's like a bit trippy, isn't it? <laughs> a little bit. Yeah. Where am I? If you have a bad acid trip, listening to that. That's where we're a bit in the Peugeot mood today. Oh yeah. I love these yellow, yellow fog lights. Oh my god, it's cool. Look at the interior on this. Is this the wrong music for this car? Yeah, it's the wrong music for this car. At least you can't get copyrighted by YouTube. <laughs> Check out the... Uh, Love that. It's pretty cool. Yeah, that's pretty cool. 214? I think a 214, yeah. It's the earlier stuff. It looks more like a Honda. This, this is with a Honda. It's basically a Honda, uh, isn't it? It's a 214. It's a, it's a K-series. Oh, it's 213S. Oh, it's 213S. Oh, this is for sale, I think. I thought it was for sale somewhere. Hmm. That's probably 1.3. Also velour interior. Yeah. Ninety no thirty thousand miles on the clock. <laughs> Has it gone around or you think that's correct? Might have gone around. Yeah, no, I think I've seen this up for sale, I'm sure I have. It's on eBay for a couple of thousand four grand. Really? <laughs> this is nice. Yeah. Yeah, That's really cool. That's actually cleaner than the other one, I think. No, the other one was... No, the paint's better than this. Yeah. I don't think so. You go back and look at the other one. Yeah, yeah. 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 There's more dings than this. They drive three separate. No, I've got two cameras. Two cameras. They go for a lot of money now, don't they? Yeah, this would be early teens, 10, 12. Really? Depending on the mileage and history and things, but they, they got to... Yeah, that's sort of money now. Wow. But then everything, all the hot hatches are kind of that money. 143, but it's not high mileage for a car of that age. No. Those are actually quite sick that Vauxhall did yeah, those, yeah, isn't it? Yeah. Well, turbo Opal version as well. Yeah. They did 2.2 turbo. Yeah. I remember that coming out. Being yeah. Like, okay, that's kind of cool. It's kind of like an Elise, isn't it? Yeah. See that? I was too obsessed with the Range Rover. Oh, look at that. Oh, yeah. That's cool. Like the last of the Americanas. 1962? Uh, or might be 61. Lovely coupes. Oh, beautiful. Look at the grill. The way they curve back, it was like a real. It's interesting because it's, it's, it's a late, for a 50s, like for, for a 60s car, it's very 50s. <laughs> yeah, pretty much, you know. Oh, it's a, oh, it's a GT as well. So the GT was the bigger engine they put in them. I think All a, right. I think a 1500. Yeah, put a 1500 in these and they were just like, yeah, this is a really, really great car. Cool, that's great. That's cool. Yeah. Well, why not? Well. Just cut the springs and just slam it. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. Imagine that going over uh, speed bumps. Porsche was, I don't know. Porsche Yeah. Just skin the tires out of the front. It's got discs on. Oh, maybe someone's put a narrow. They, they've, got, they've got narrow beams in the front or some shit like that. Now that. You know the hot rods and stuff, that's how they should look. That black yeah, one. That's nice. that Greyhound on the front as well. Yeah, the Ford had that. Hey. Yeah. This is this is nice hot rod. I like the mm. I like the look of this. Yeah, you know, some of them can look a bit fugly sometimes. Yeah. But when you get the right like you just get the right headlights on there and you but look at the angle of it, it's like... It's insane. Front front. It's insane, it's like isn't it? It's like a pinned-in, like... 
Sad, sad people do anyway. Sad people maybe. Look at that shop roof as well. Yeah, no, it's just lovely. Cali windows? No, it's got They blanked off. Cali style was like you blank off the front windows because you don't need them. Because <laughs> it's always sunny. Yeah. It's not Cali style. Either. That's a GTA 6. What's the thing about? It's quite like. Boy racer. Yeah. But I mean like, I think they're real drive and things like that. Yeah. I don't think did the turbo version, so we're going to... I do I have to say, I do find the 350 sets a quite attractive looking car. Oh yeah, thank you. Yeah. Like, there's a lot of cars on the money. But I think it's probably worth buying a really good one. Yeah, definitely. I should really like that burnt orange as well. Yeah, that's, that's a great colour for that. This Ford's lovely. Nice yeah. colour. Kind of in a little bit tempty with this kind of green on the 2300. Could be cool. With um, tobacco interior. Oh, yeah, I was going to say it's a definitely a fourth color because I had a tornus in the same color. This is a pretty bad boy as well. Yeah, that paint is insane. A few hours of sanding on that. I just love the round, the round headlights in the back, like uh, with the black car as well, with this red tail lights. Honda Prelude, however you want to say it. Pretty sure, judging by the body kit, it's a 2.2 VTI. So it's like 200 horsepower, completely undervalued in my opinion. When you consider that an Integra will cost you 15,000 now for a nice DC2 Integra. Yeah. Well, the 2.2 VTI, you can probably pick them up for, if you're cheap, five to seven. This makes After me think price. of Gran Turismo yeah. 2. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You like the... Exactly. <laughs> but these, I think it's totally undervalued. And you and you get a 2.2 litre VTI, VTI. Bigger engine, H, uh, H22. Oh, wow. Yeah. I thought I had one of those proximity sensing this morning. Yeah, it's super cool. And AC as well. How much for a decent one of these? Um, seven, seven. Six to seven, up to eight maybe for a very low mileage one. Five point seven, yeah. Um, normally say Corvette in the engine. They've been good though. I don't know. It's the same engine, but it's, it just didn't normally have Corvette in the engine. It's one of these in Ringwood as well. I think they're normally 6.2, weren't they? I think some of the models are 6.2. They're more popular in Australia. Oh, it's a Holden, isn't it? So this take yes, brought in from Australia. Holden. Oh, this actually says Holden. It's that got a Holden badge, oh, yeah. Oh, okay. So yeah, we, we had a box of Monaro as well. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, the Holdens were way more popular. Check this one out. Oh, yeah. Get get, get 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 your wrap out. Oh, I like that. That's pretty dope. Look at that. This is the essential kit car, very British phenomenon. Look at this! It's one for Clara, isn't it? It's one for Clara, yeah. That's insane. Wow. <laughs> so cool. You can just lift it up if you can change the, change the tire. Where's a brick inside? <laughs> that's for stab stabilizing it. I thought that's for like in case we tries to steal it. <laughs> Pretty cool though. Is that five glass? I reckon it's five. Nah, it's five glass. Yeah. yeah. Probably a motorbike engine or something. That's a cool thing. Is it, is it yours, sir? Is it yours? Yeah. Lovely, isn't it? Yeah. What engine do you have in there? 
328cc XL ship. Wow. Oh, yeah. Nice. Whoa, it's like a motorbike engine, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> well, it's three wheelers, yeah. one wheel in the back. Of course. Yeah. That's so cool. <laughs> that's, that's a classic car. Isn't that's it? cool, yeah. Uh, earlier ones were an Anzani engine, yeah. and then they did some uh, with a bigger opening front with the um, basically. Uh, you picture yourself driving all the way down to Spain in that? I wouldn't maybe drive that far. <laughs> what a cool car. Look at the condition of this. This is... Oh yeah. Uh, what are they? Oh, it's the opposite. It's the bigger one. Yeah. I mean, I'm familiar with the 1300, the 1100, but... Well, this is a 3 litre. Oh, it's just like this. It's not a princess, is it? Not a princess. I am. Uh, nicknamed a Lang... Isn't it? Front... It's not a Land Crab. The Land Crab is a small version. It's oh, okay. the same, but... It's a front wheel drive, isn't it? I'm walking this one, I'm not farming. That's what I mean, you get a little bit of everything here, don't you? You do get a big mix of junior. It's lovely, isn't it? Yeah. Look at the Peugeot and Ami, Ami down there. Ami? Ami, Citroen Ami. Where? I can't see it. Yeah. Oh no, it's a Saab it's 95. It's a Saab, yeah, I was wondering what you're talking about. 95 is day. I thought it was Citroen Ami for some reason. No, no, this is Swedish. Whoa, that's so cool. <laughs> that is so. Uh, design is so mental. You know, no Norway, you call these the tube Saabs? Yeah. Because in the old days you got the toothpaste in your aluminium yeah. tubes. Uh -huh. So they call this the tube Saab because it looks like an aluminium tube. <laughs> It's lovely. Here you got your uh, classic Mitsubishi next to the classic Volvo. Yeah, definitely. As a kid, I always wanted one of these MGs. Yeah. That's the great thing of living in England, you see lots of weird and wonderful things. That's a vantage yes, they look to the front. No, They're very vantage this one. This one has a huge scoop on it. Is that something to do with the GS badge? Oh, or? maybe it does. Well, maybe the Vantage looks a bit more Jensen-y. Yeah. It all kind of, it's kind of inspired by the 60s American muscle car anyway. Yeah, yeah. Aluminium body? Pretty nice. Aluminium body? That's not a sandwich. This is not a standard Jensen, no. <laughs> Have you seen Jensen's projects for sale? Oh. You remember yeah. the Jensen's with like. So maybe some of them were, because I don't think the A40 Sports are full aluminium body. But certain, certain ones were aluminium bodies, obviously. Well, this one is. Yeah, certain ones were. This, this one, this is, uh, well, it's a touring body, which is Italian, mm. coach builder. <laughs> Because most Jensen's, the problem is rust. Look at those front lights, so look at those indicator lights. <laughs> Isn't it? Oh, it is. Yeah, the white Fluvia. Fluvia. Right. Yeah, Fluvia, yeah. Nice one. Guy restored it, left in a, a wet garage, and just rusted. Ah. Great idea. It's actually a nice colour as well, I quite like that. Yeah, I talked to the owner, Mike. He uh, originally it was white. Oh, was it? Just repainted in the 70s oh, or whatever. Was it? But it actually suits this uh, car quite yeah, well, no, doesn't I think it? it does suit but they're so small, they're kind of polished. That would actually come out like a lot more. 1.3S, that'd be good. Well, the paint looks really good on the camera. Like. 
Holy shit, is that G60? He's got the body kit on now, I don't know. Oh, oh no, he's just painted the, the, the rubber. He painted the rubbers. That small bump is one of the later ones came with big bumpers. It says Australian muscle on the back, so this... Oh, it does say Australian muscle. Yeah. yeah. It's pretty cool, though. What a strange grill design on that. Because you're expecting two yeah. set of four round headlights, don't you? Garage original, never you. No, I think this... <clears throat> That'd be under 50,000 miles as well. Yeah. This is tidy. This is what's fun seeing sometimes though, is that because these are the cars that never survived. Oh yeah. Like the RS Cosworths and stuff, people would know that they were expensive back then, so there's more likely they would be taken care of. Yeah, people might have kept them for longer, but stuff like this. But at one like, point, yeah. some granny had just driven this for 35,000 miles and then... They didn't use it. Yeah. We just look everywhere. Where it should be rusty in these little joints here. It's barely any. It's just nothing. Yeah. It's just the seams they always go. It's just super, super. It's straight. a great color as well. Like whether that roof would have been factory, I, I'd be. I don't think that would have been a factory roof. This is when Ghia kind of lost its uh, Italian exotic appeal. Uh, oh, it's a Ghia, so maybe... Oh, it's a 1.3, this is top of the, top of the range. This is a luxury top of, Maybe yeah. that's why it's got the uh, the vinyl touches to it. You know? Maybe.